Hello everyone, this is Lloyd from Bisfo with a short tutorial on how to link up your hive to your e-commerce stores. Um, the hive is beautifully placed um, to be centralized in terms of if you've got your online store, you've got your payment device uh, which we provide and you also got so brick and mortar and e-commerce and we're sitting in the middle with the added functionality of um, our uh, accounting and so forth. But let's start up with um, getting the stuff into our store and centralized. So what we're going to do, let's go to our inventory. On the inventory side, um, I've set up a few branches already. So um, let's go to our online store. There's nothing in our online store at this stage. And for the online store example, we've got some sandwiches. Um, I'll show you the back office. We will post another link um, how to set up your um, API and REST services. Um, or if you need assistance with that, you can just pop us a mail at info at BISFO. So these are some of the products on the existing store that we actually just want to bring into our store. So let's go to our profile. Let's go to our integration. And on our integration side, we've got our WooCommerce product. So your webhook is also set up. So all sales happening on your WooCommerce will be sent to your Hive. And then you have your products as well. So why would you want to do this? We do quite a bit of integration, example zero. So if you want your your sales to be um, integrated into zero from all platforms, we will set up your hive and we'll centralize the data and we'll send it to zero for you. So let's go, we'll click on our products. For my branches, I'm going to use my online store. We're not going to use the token at this stage. Um, we're going to use our uh, key and secret and then very important the URL and please note do not uh, add a back backslash otherwise you'll pick up some um, issues. So you want to have it active and update. So based on the key and the secret where to get that um, we'll post a video on, on the link below otherwise just uh, send us a mail at info at Bisfo and we can either set up a store for you or just assist you with um, getting your store up and running. Alright so um, for my online store that's pretty much all I need to do. Let's go back to our products and what we want to do now is our e-commerce is we're going to say import all the products for us from our e-commerce store. So we're expecting these products just to come in. So let's have a look. I'm just going to refresh by jumping to a different store and, and jump back. So here we have um, some random stuff. Let's use my test item. So this is our sandwich. Let's have a look at our sandwich. So it's 150. We've got 10 in stock. And from here as well, we can also go and we can say, look, we want to update the price. Um, this is now 175 and possibly the quantities we've done stock taken. We we want to put 25 available. We can see there. And then what we do is we send the quantity and we send the price individually uh, to our store. So once we get to our store, let's press S5 on the keyboard to refresh. And we've done the magic. Now we've got 25, we've got 175. Once these items are sold and you want to update them again, you can just simply um, import all your products, which will update them, or just get the item quantity from an individual product. Important to note with WooCommerce though, let's double click one of these items. Let's stick with sandwich. Is the actual link between the product is established through the item code, which is the product ID. So if you're looking at your product ID, which is 2371, if you go to your store backend, you'll see there's your 2371. So let's have a look. We're expecting cappuccino to be 2369. Let's see if that is the case. Let's go to our cappuccino. It's this one. I'm double clicking it, and we can see 2369. So guys, that's it. Um, again, any questions, uh, pop us a mail at info at uh, if you need some assistance setting up your and linking up your e-commerce store with your Hive.